Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albaid Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray. And my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's Argentina versus France. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. But if they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. A fine use of the ball. Martinez. On to Di Maria. And he did what he had to do defensively. Teo Hernandez. Pogba. Teo Hernandez now. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Chouameni. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Martinez. Di Maria. And it's through here. And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Riesma. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And Benzema! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Options for Di Maria. Martinez! Well, here's the replay, and you can see Di Maria's cross is played into a really dangerous area, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So back underway. Will there be a response from France here? Teo Hernandez. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Karim Benzema. Griezmann. Rodrigo de Paul, Lionel Messi, Martinez, and with that, the first half draws to a close. So into the second half, can France bounce back after that first 45? And a throw in here for France. Paul Pogba, Kylian Mbappe, Benzema, Griezmann, and France pushing forward with options available. Now Paul Pogba, now Griezmann, just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Griezmann. 30 minutes left for play. Coman. Benzema. Great opportunity. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Teo Hernandez. He has teammates around him. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Argentina doing well to regain possession. Griezmann. Mbappe. 
And an astute piece of defending. On the cusp of the final whistle, and they're making home advantage count, but only just. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Di Maria. Papu Gomez. Messi. De Paul. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Teammates available. Gomez. Now Messi. Firing it towards goal. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. And there we have it. The referee brings this game to an end. Argentina have made it through to the last eight. Well, Derek, what a good performance this has been. They came in as underdogs, but they fully deserve to be in the next round. They were excellent. Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's Argentina versus Wales. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. In position, and the keeper getting across to stop it. And he takes it on. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Joe Roden. Wilson. James. And a good tackle. Martinez. Lionel Messi. Messi. And a bit short with the clearance. Di Maria. Giovanni Lo Celso. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Can he put them in front? Top-notch defending, but the chance still there. Must score. Oh, chance missed. Nil. Well, chances don't come much better than that. What a miss that is. James. Wilson. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Lionel Messi. Martinez. He's going forward well here. Oh, surely. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. He's foiled them on his own. Joe Allen. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, 
Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Ramsey. Patient build-up at the moment. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Messi. A real struggle to contain him. And a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes. And Messi! And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Smuggled away. Paredes. On to Di Maria. Great opportunity. Must be. Well, he didn't miss by very much at all. And they're making a change. Joe Allen, Wilson, Gareth Bale, the tackle taken away, Allen with it, well, doesn't have to do it on his own, really vital interception here, can they forge ahead, making sure nothing untoward happened, superb tackle, now we're inside the final 15 minutes, Messi. Clean challenge. Wales doing well to regain possession. Harry Wilson. James. And a tidy tackle. A oh, nice ball over the top. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Substitution time it is here. Wilson. Joe Morrell. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. So away they go again. The first period of extra time and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Harry Wilson. Really good challenge. And that's how to beat your opponent. Can he get them in front? So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Time for a change then. And he takes it on. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Marcos Acuna. Otamendi. Half time in extra time. And still they are level. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Williams and the attacking options appear plentiful. And so can he put them in front? Well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. And the idea with that pass is to spring Dybala on the defence. Locked together then, these two sides, and on we go now to penalty kicks. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. I think we might just have witnessed the unstoppable penalty. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. 
And the penalty converted here. Can he remain calm? He had to score, and he does. In it goes. And he steps up to take his penalty. And there it is, perfectly executed. And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. And high into the top corner. Outrageous. It's fair to say that tension levels have been heightened as we get ready for this semi-final here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And a special atmosphere for this very special contest. It's Argentina, and they take on Spain. Well, what a moment for both these teams. Just one step away from the final. But it's the visitors and their fans that are expecting to get through to the big day. But this is by no means an easy game for them, as their host can be really dangerous if they play at their best. Possession lost, intercepted. Sergio Busquets. What can they do from here? Plenty of support here. Sergio Busquets. Must take the lead here. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Well, and all of a sudden, Darnie's failed to hit the target. Di Maria. Lionel Messi difficult to stop him could take the lead and good work to deny the chance well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets Gonzalo Montiel Martinez well they keep the ball moving Messi Opportunity here. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Pedri. Morata. Pedri. Garcia. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out.
Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Lo Celso. Now what can they do from here? This could square the game. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, let's have another look at this because Di Maria shows great skill to go beyond the defender. And then it's a wonderful strike from Messi. He hits it with such power, such pace and great accuracy. What a goal that is. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Sarabia, and back with Morata. To take the lead, can he put them in front? And a goal! How important could that be in the story of this semi-final? Wild celebrations! Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So there we have it, 2-1. I must say, this looks promising. Messi. Credit to them for winning back possession. Koke. Sarabia. Tremendous challenge. And fine work by Argentina to recover possession. Untidy on the ball. Ferran Torres. Ten minutes to go. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, Still, the prospect of late excitement in this match. Shot attempted, and just wide of the post. Decent effort there. Pedri. Koke. And there goes the whistle. Music to the ears of all their fans. They've only gone and made it through to the World Cup.